and another one. This is just insane, wow. Probably the new Highlander Rogue. Or maybe the Death Rattle Rogue with the Apothecaries. We can keep the Invocation of Frost and the Mana Tide. Devoted Maniac is also good, but not good enough for the opening hand. We can just freeze face here and get a free 2 1, right? Yes. And also invocate our boy Galakrond. Muted is an excellent draw. For our Mogu in the future. That's fine. Kronx is good. So now we have an option to draw Galakrond immediately or save it for the future value with the Devastations. It looks like he's not killing the Manatide. That's really good. And now we can go we can go devoted maniac plus the mogu or we can go manatide plus mogu and mutate but we already have one manatide so this one is obviously better And we get could be worse, but all right, I'll take that. He just tempoed out the ap apothecary. Okay, he shadow stepped it, so he has a two mana. I'm not sure if he messed up. He prob he maybe didn't know that y you need to combo it, but okay. Uh, here we will play Shield of Galakrond, right? Shudderwalk in hand. Pretty nice for the late game. Okay, he is Highlander Rogue. What, he, what can he get for 3 mana that deals with this board? Okay. Ooh, we have the Dragon's Pack ready to go. And he just used his Zephyrus, so the only board clear for him is Flick. And he still cannot clear the 5-5 after that. Yeah, I think we always go for Dragon's Pack here. I would like to wait for the, with this so we can combo it with Vargot later, but I think it's just too good right now. And I believe we just go face. Speaking of Dragon's Pack, we have another one for the later stages of the game. Yep, that's alright. I mean, we can play another Dragon's Pack, why not? And deal 5 more to the face. Rogue doesn't have any heals. Do we play around mind control tech? Yeah, I don't believe he's running it, so it's all right. He can shadow step flick, but he used already sh a shadow step. Yep, he needs to find something great off of this, otherwise he's dead. Okay, that's too slow. And that's it. Two dragon specs really kicked the crap out of this rogue. Warlock. Interesting. Haven't seen many warlocks lately. Do we keep Kronks? Kronks is a very good card, but it's debatable if he if we keep him or not. I think we will mulligan everything because there are so many better early game cards. 
we'll see. This card is just broken. I think this card will be nerfed in the latest patch. Oh, Blazing Battle Mage, so this could be... Most obviously a Zulok, but we have ways to deal with it. And our Galakrond is here, that's pretty nice. Six mana Shadow Rock is also really good. Put this apple on your head. Okay. He started... Ooh. So do we play the Devoted Maniac or do we just play the Mogu? If we play the Mogu, we trade the Voidwalker and he has to play something and hit the juggle and if he doesn't hit juggles he needs to trade both of his minions into the mogu or do we save the mogu for the potential mutate draw yeah, i think we will use the mogu right now next turn we can play the corrupt elementalist and later on we can play the dragon's pack and then we can play the galakrond to finish him off Okay, so, so he's also playing the Galakrond. He unfortunately hit the Juggles. So we play the Corrupt Elementalist, then we can play the Devoted Maniac, and then on turn 7 we can actually play the fully invocated Galakrond, which will be insane. The question is, will we survive until turn 7? He probably knows that I have a Galakrond, because I don't know if they fixed the visual bug. If you upgrade Galakrond in your hand, your opponent can see it. Do we trade into the shield of Galakrond? Yeah, I think we do. If he gets the free juggles on those two elementals, we kind of lose a lot of value. Okay, that's not that scary. Okay, that is kind of scary. And he unfortunately hit all the juggles. In this position, we kind of need to play our dragon spec right now. Or do we? Interesting choice we have here. We can play the Devoted Maniac and the Invocation of Frost, or we can play Dragon's Black plus the Invocation of, of Frost. The question is, do we need the 8-8 eight, eight Elementals, or we only need the 4-4s four against Zulok? Yeah, I think the main priority here is to just survive, so we will play the Dragon's Pack plus the Invocation of Galakrond. Or Invocation of Frost, rather. That's actually really good. I guess here we need to play our Galakrond. And after that we can play our Shudderwalk to gain more rushes, right? Kill of these two. We are dead to Leroy. Okay, never mind. He doesn't have it. That's fine. And now we can actually play our Shudderwalk. Gain two more 4-4s four with Rush and two more 2-1s two with Rush, right? Did we play anything else? Right, I guess we'll see. Nope, we didn't. So we will do this. He 
he didn't have any burst damage last turn, so he probably doesn't have it right now. Okay, that's actually kind of good for him. Okay, we have 14, we need 9 damage to finish him off. That's pretty good. Ooh, we have Vargoth too, but we don't... Actually, we do have place for it, right? Yes. This is just insane, wow. Now I'm start I'm starting to realize why this deck will be nerfed in a couple of days. This is just insane. Okay. Bones of the Not good enough, my friend. Yep. This time. If you need to climb quickly this deck is absolutely insane. <laughs>